the names of Joachim and Anne are not in the canonical, the, the, the Bible that we have, in the canonical books of the Bible. However, the Proto-Evangelium of St. James, an apocryphal gospel, talks about the birth of the Virgin Mary. And it was written around the year 165. And in it, it talks about Joachim and Anne, who were sterile, like Abraham and Sarah in the Old Testament. And it says that Joachim went out into the desert for 40 days and prayed. And when he came back, his wife, who was sterile all these years, was pregnant. And born of them was the Blessed Virgin Mary that what nature was sterile, great grace came in and filled it with life. And our Blessed Mother was conceived in the womb of St. Anne, immaculate from the first moment of her conception. God prepared a very worthy and beautiful place for his son to be conceived and to be born in the womb of his heart. It's a feast day that I've always had a close place in my heart for because they were the grandparents of Jesus. And I wonder sometimes if they tried to smile, they would have to correct them. You know how grandparents do things like that? Um, I bet they did. I can just imagine them holding Mary, um, holding Jesus in their hands, knowing that she gave birth to this wonderful son, the incarnate son of God. Such, such a beautiful fulfillment of the promises of God that from Abraham he promised he would have many descendants in faith and on through David and then through Joachim and Anne, Mary is conceived, and through Mary, Christ is conceived. It's the whole story of our salvation portrayed by God and brought about by God in such a beautiful way. And so today, we pray especially for grandparents. You know, so often, it's grandparents' prayers that take care of their children. And you should pray to Saints Joachim and Anne if you are grandparents, asking the blessing upon your children and your grandchildren. Um, they are two people who, two saints, I think, that we can personally really relate to. And at the same time, we give thanks to God for, again, <clears throat> the marvelous story of salvation. In the first reading from Sirach, it says that um, their heritage, their wealth remains in their families, their heritage with their descendants. The wealth in our families are the children we bear, are the children that we bring to life. So sacred is the gift of human life from God. And so today we thank God for the witness of Saints Joachim and Anne who played such an important role in bringing the greatest saint of all times, our Blessed Mother, into life. Let us stand and offer our prayers and petitions.